OK, now to Judith Durham. In just two months after a brain hemorrhage threatened to end her career, she's announced plans to return to singing. And for more on that, we are joined by probably one of the biggest fans I know of the Seekers. We've got Nines Amelia Adams here in the studio. Meals, music to all fans ears, including oh, yours. This I am, is great. I am top of that list, Wendy, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You. She is an absolute legend of Australian music, the unforgettable voice, of course, of the Seekers. And today we saw Judith Durham the first time since she had that life-threatening brain hemorrhage in hospital in Melbourne. There she is there with her bandmates, Athel Guy and Pete, Keith Potker, and looking pretty well, you'd have to say, all she things considered. Great. Yeah, she really does. And the big quest question, of course, which everyone was hanging off, was that incredible voice. Has it been affected? Has it been damaged? Will she ever sing again? And well, let's hear from Judith herself. I think everybody around me was um, sort of skirting that question of and she sings still, you see. And nobody sort of wanted to be the first to take that plunge. So I was very, very fortunate that they decided just right there and then, well, let's sing us a tune, you know. So luckily that was all intact and I still sing in tune and I'm expecting to be back on stage to, to sing again, you know, as soon as all my therapy's done, really. That is great news, isn't it? It is. She spoke really candidly, though, and she did say there is a lot of therapy until she gets to that point. Mm. And some big hurdles as well. She's relearning how to write, how to read music, how to play the keyboard. So uh, a lot of intensive therapy involved there. Uh, and the lyrics, of course. She has got some short-term memory loss, but no long-term, which is great news. She remembers it's unbelievable, all the unbelievable, really, given what she's gone through. Absolutely. And those songs that the band's been performing for five decades now, we know that Judith has got so many fans right around the world when in today she took the opportunity to say thank you. The uplift you get and the sense of comfort and warmth and people being with you in spirit, it's just astonishing what that does for you, that you just feel needed and it's an encouragement to get back in action again. She's so lovely, isn't she? Such a sweetheart. I love having good news at the yeah. top of my thoughts. Now, you excellent. might remember that this health scare actually happened uh, in the middle of their Golden Jubilee mm, yes. tour back in May, and I actually went to that concert, I have to say, a few days before she suffered this hemorrhage. I have heard you say that a I few times. I may have raved about it a little bit. <laughs> they were in such good voice. I mean, Judith sounded fantastic. The band was singing so well, marking 50 years of those incredible, unforgettable folk tunes. They were the first Australian band, Wendy, of course, to make it really big on the US and the UK charts and we've got some vision there from our archives. This is going back to the late 60s, you know, those real classics, Georgie Girl, uh, uh, the carnival is over. I think we might take a little bit of a trip Why down the way. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> every concert with but as Judith said today the carnival is not over she's recovering That's well great. it's actually her 70th birthday today uh, a very special milestone and look what better way to mark it than with this great news that she's on the road to recovery and she says she'll be back on our stage very soon. I don't think in all the years that I've known you that I've ever seen you this happy. Yeah. It's very good. It's excellent news. <laughs> Thanks Judith very much.